I'm Dana Denha, and you're watching FYI. Schooling as we know it has changed dramatically over the last months, but the importance of education has not wavered. We hear a lot about how Washtenaw Community College is an exemplary stepping stone to a fulfilling career path, and one student knows this firsthand, and he, as he was recently awarded a life-changing scholarship. Joining me is Ali Kermasha, WCC student and recipient of the Jack Kent Cook Undergraduate Transfer Scholarship. Welcome to the show, Ali. Hello, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> so when did you find out about winning this scholarship? This was just recently you found out about um, getting a uh, Yes, I found out in April. Um, and it came on as a as a shocker because I wasn't uh, expecting it. Um, it was supposed to be a normal appointment with my um, counselor to discuss transferring and, and things like that. Um, and I joined in the call and suddenly I'm surprised with so many people that I know in the call and all of them just telling me, Ali, you got the scholarship. And um, you can see my shocked reaction at the WCC page. <laughs> yeah, funny. you can go on the website. Actually, I could go there right now and sort of show people, like, you can go onto the WCC website. You can learn more about Ali. The website likes to share a lot of personal stories about their students. And honestly, you are a major success story for WCC. But I feel like WCC has a lot of success. Why don't you tell me about a little bit about yourself? What led you to WCC? You went to Pioneer High School prior to this? Yes. Um, so I moved to the United States um, in 2014, um, in December 2014. And I moved to Ann Arbor um, in 2015. Um, I wanted to continue my education. So I attended Pioneer High School. Um, but after that, I wanted to go to university but it was difficult. Um, and there was this stigma about community colleges, right? Which kind of discouraged me from going to a community college, but I got a full ride at Washtenaw Community College through the Presidential Scholarship. So of course I went there. Um, and it was unlike anything I expected and unlike anything that anyone told me, um, certainly, the amount of opportunity and the amount of skills that I got there, it's, it's more than just academic skills and degrees and credits. It's professional skills. It's real world communication. Um, you know, aside of all the experiences that I was able to get at Washtenaw. So it's just um, so amazing. <laughs> I mean, in your video testimonial, you talk about uh, how you were, uh, basically, you treated WCC like it was a university. I mean, you were involved in all sorts of clubs and stuff. And I, and when you talk about how there's this sort of stigma about, about community college, I've talked about this at myself on this show before with people from WCC, because I went to community college myself too. And there is this stigma about it. But once you're there, it's like, it feels right. You know what I mean? It feels like it's the first part of your next part of your education to take you. It's a good easing in to university life too, I think. Yes. So, and I mean, you get the same credits that you would get in a university for a cheaper price. And sometimes you'd get them even better at a community college because it has, um, you know, smaller class sizes mm -hmm. and, um, faculty are very friendly and approachable. It's, it's just amazing how community colleges are underestimated, um, but they are pretty amazing in what they do. I mean, I don't think we'd be talking to you right now had you not gone to WCC, because you probably, yes. I mean, this, this, this scholarship <laughs> is for people like you that go to community college. Can you tell me a little bit more about the scholarship and the process you had to go through? Uh, so for the scholarship, um, basically it's uh, a common app um, scholarship. So you would have to apply through the common app and it's sort of applying for another college. So there is uh, the documents that you have to upload, your experience section and all of that from the common app. And then there's the question section, uh, which uh, is a questionnaire that you need to fill out and it contains uh, question prompts. Um, and after that, uh, you would um, submit your application 
Um, I think about 1,500 people submitted the application uh, last year. And then you would um, get selected into a semifinalist after that. And that's like phase two of the mm -hmm. process. Um, and last year, I think it was 475 people who got selected um, for uh, some, being semifinalists. And that's yeah, basically yeah. phase two. And then you'd have to submit more documents. You might get interviewed. Um, and you would have to uh, basically submit the colleges that you got accepted to and that thing. And then um, you would move on to being a finalist. So it's a long process. Um, I think I started it in August and then I got an answer in April. Oh, so you were pretty basically at the point where you were like, I'm not even thinking about this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hence why I was easily surprised. <laughs> Can you tell me about uh, what the scholarship entails? Because it's actually, I mean, this is life changing, the scholarship. Yes, definitely. It entails up to $40,000 uh, for tuition fees and uh, room and boarding for up to three years. So that's a year. You could get up to 40 a year. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so it's like one hundred twenty thousand dollars, and um, they you uh, the scholarship usually selects only uh, about fifty people, give or take, from all the fifty states, um, which is why it's highly selective and prestigious. Um, and if you get it, it's just amazing because not only do they provide you with the tuition. Um, fees and room and boarding. They also provide you with counseling, um, financial support services. Um, really, they want to help you succeed, not just in academics, but in your life, in every life aspect. And it's great. Um, and they also connect you to other scholars like you. So you feel a part of the family and in fact you call the other scholars your cookie cousins <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one on that note we're going to take a short break and we'll be back with more with Ali Kamasha We're back with Ali. Ali, you were just telling us about what you get with this scholarship. Can you tell us about your, I, I don't know if you want to share this information, but your GPA? Because I'm curious to see how high of a GPA you would need to have to in order to get the ball rolling on a scholarship of this magnitude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have a 4.0, um, but the median for the scholarship is not really a 4.0. I think it's a 3.7 or something like that. Um, Which is still, I mean, that's a high GPA. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you definitely have to work hard for it. But, you know, um, just doing it, just putting in the work, you'd probably get that GPA, um, especially I if... I can agree with that. If you, if you have the motivation and the hard work, I, I saw it myself. I was like, once I got to college, I'm like four point all the way you know i was like really like working hard for that four point and i feel like you're the same way you know yeah um, definitely talk about what your career path is where do you see yourself going and and do you have any use university plans at the moment so um i want to go to msu right now uh hopefully in the fall and um i wanted to study either biology or chemistry um, but my ultimate goal is to become a dentist. Mm -hmm. um, I just love dentistry. I think it's a calm form of um, me a medical career. Like if a medical career was meditating, it's dentistry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I also want to help people around this community because um, for example, I got the Ann Arbor Rotary Scholarship uh, because I was a graduate from Pioneer High School. The okay. community of Ann Arbor supported me in more than one way, accepting who I am, accepting my identity, uh, helping me embrace my potential. Um, so for me, 
I want to become a dentist because it's, it's my passion, it's the thing I love, but also I want to use it to help people around this community. I want to embrace this community and I want to expand to other communities. And really, um, that's I believe that that's our purpose for life. It's basically uh, the impact that we create uh, on this world. And my impact, the impact that I want to create is helping others through dentistry. Um, I hope to get into U of M School of Dentistry uh, because I just love that school. <laughs> sure, yeah. But you never know where you end up. Yeah, but you kind of have, you like you like this area, you want to be sort of near here. Your family's yes. here, I'm sure, yes. yeah. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about how WCC sort of shaped the way you, your next path of education is going and why people should take advantage of community college. And, and let's just erase that stigma right now. Definitely. Um, so WCC helped me build um, a professional experience not, and not just academics because the thing about WCC or rather the thing about community colleges is that a lot of students just go to their classes and then they leave to uh, wherever they need to be, right? Mm -hmm. Their They've job or whatever, yeah. Involved, <laughs> which is basically where the gold is, um, getting involved on campus. And I think that's the thing that changed me. Um, I was on campus um, at, at, during my beginnings. I was just a commuter going to class and then going sure. um, out. Um, basically, I saw a... a PTK table, um, Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, and there was this person on the table, and um, her pictures were all over campus. So I started wondering, this is probably a person I should be networking with, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> so I went there, and they recruited me for the Phi Theta Kappa um, Honor Society, and I learned more about getting involved and what they do. Um, and I just started from there. I just started becoming involved. And then I attended a speech by uh, the previous Jack and Cook Foundation um, scholar who uh, won the scholarship, uh, Paula Salazar. And she uh, just inspired me because she's also, uh, she was also an international student and our circumstances were kind of similar. So when I looked at the amount of impact and the amount of, uh, work that she has done, I felt like, what am I doing right here? I need to be, I need to be working. I need to get up. I need to do something right now. Yeah. Um, and from there, I started becoming really involved on campus. Um, so I started a fundraiser. It, it was a small fundraiser, but really, it taught me so much about coordinating, uh, programming, uh, marketing, communication. Mm -hmm. So these real world career skills that are needed from every career applicant, you learn those through these experiences. And I mean, with academics, WCC is also amazing because um, we had a lot of resources like the writing center um, and um, our tutoring center. And the faculty, very amazing, very approachable and Th uh, in many of my classes, the first thing they tell me is, my goal is to have you guys get an A. Um, and that, to me, just is like, wow, yes, I want to get an A. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, WCC also offered me a lot of scholarships. And I mean, probably that was the biggest thing, really, is that WCC, even though the, the opportunities are limited for me out there, WCC offered me an overwhelming amount of opportunities of attendance. So I never had to worry about costs in the three years that I've attended WCC. Um, yes, yeah, so you can pursue scholarships at WCC. You could um, get excellent academics, university level academics. You could transfer them anywhere you want because um, WCC has a lot of agreements with other universities. And if you get involved in organizations, um, you will, you're going to get this professional experience. And also, um, I got my first job uh, in the U.S. at WCC. Um, 
which is also very nice. I worked as a student life officer, um, specifically in the student organizations branch. Um, and my mentor, uh, Veronica Buizano, just helped me learn a lot about uh, what it means to be professional, how to act in the workplace, and how to manage my time, really. I think that this is one of the biggest issues that faces students. It's managing their time. And you really have to learn that on your own. There's not like a specific course that teaches you how to manage your time. It's really something that you learn with experience. Sure, yeah. And I believe WCC just gave me that. Well, I think you will be sorely missed on campus now that you're moving on to the next step. And I think you'll miss campus too. I think it's going to be something. Definitely. Oh my God. I'm, I'm missing it already. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to tell you congratulations for being the only recipient in Michigan to get the Jack Kent Cook transfer scholarship. That's amazing. I just see huge things in your future. Maybe we can connect again down the road once you start your education and we can see where you're at next. Because I just I'd think love you have to. great things on the horizon. So thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you very much for having me. For more on this and other programs, visit a2gov.org slash ctn. Visit youtube.com slash ctn Ann Arbor to see all that we have to offer. And remember to like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching and tune in next time to FYI.